Yo, 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 what up, world? It's your boy, like, coming to you with a real life this segment. Uh, so, trade deadline's coming up in the NBA. You know, I'm sitting there watching a couple of uh, trades that they talking about. Uh, play, well, players who are going to be on the trading block. Uh, Andre Drummond is one. Uh, I think they talking about OKC might be willing to trade away Adams and Chris Paul. Uh, one of the main trades I would look at is going for is uh, Andre Drummond. We need a big man down low with Aldridge. I believe if we can trade the Pistons, our second round draft pick for Andre Drummond, Pair him with Aldridge. Now you will have two big men down low that can score in the paint and protect uh, protect the rim. Uh, if that's that's one trade option, another trade option would be to try to trade for Chris Paul. Reason being, I say Chris Paul because. Uh, when uh, Chris Paul got traded to OKC, I said, I had told one of my partners, I said, man, uh, yeah, he thought that OKC was going to be trash. And I'm like, nah, bro. Chris Paul may be old and he may be injury prone. But one thing I know about Chris Paul, he's a goddamn floor general. He knows how to run a offense. I would say... If we would, if we could trade for Chris Paul, get him a second round draft pick, let Chris Paul run that point guard position, let move Dejounte Murray to shooting guard. You got Demar, uh, uh, Demar Derozan that small forward, and he keeps putting Trey Lyles at small at power forward. Then you got uh, or center or whatever. Then you got Lamarcus Aldridge. At powerful, so uh, Chris Paul would be a good trade option as well. So other than that, man, I, I don't like. I mean, maybe Adams, Stephen Adams, and Chris Paul together as a package. I don't know. That's a good. That's a good trade option, but uh. My first bet to be would try to get Andre Drummond. If we can get him for the rest of the season, that will help us be down low. I promise you that. Um, same thing with Chris Paul. If we used to get Chris Paul, that'll help out with uh with you know, uh a point guard that would be able to run the offense. And Chris Paul can do that. They talking about trading Kyle Kuzma. I don't think the Spurs trade Kyle Kuzma. I mean, we trade for try to go for Kyle Kuzma because the Lakers, you know, they we don't do business with the Lakers. Uh, another trade option out there is, uh, I think the Denver Nuggets would try to move uh, Michael Porter Jr. Uh, that's a good trade option as well. If we can get Michael Porter Jr. Uh, yeah, I see I got quiet on this shit for a minute. If we can get Michael Porter Jr., God damn, who the fuck gonna stop us? Because he can score the ball. That, that cat can score. Just got to work on his defense. We get that together. You know what I'm saying? We'll get that together. But, boy, he going to be a nightmare on offense, man. I liked him ever since he came out of Mizzou. You know what I'm saying? And I think he'd be a a, a good-ass uh, trade for us. You know what I'm saying? But mainly with the second-round pick, maybe a future second round and shit like that at the same time. But we want to keep, uh, keep our young nucleus together. 
our young nucleus, that's they untouchable. Like we ain't trade none of them. So, um, I say, man, go for one of those trade spurs, and let's see what works for the rest of the season. It's your boy LA, and I'm out this bitch. Holla, it's your boy. Yes, sir. Hey, and Spurs won against the motherfucking Heat tonight, goddammit. But y'all gotta keep winning, man. Y'all can't just keep losing to these bum ass teams and then winning to winning with winning against these good teams and shit. That shit don't make a bit of damn sense. But at the same time, I still think that Pop is bullshitting around. I think Pop, man, toying with the NBA. You know what I'm saying? He got something up his goddamn sleeve, man. You know what I'm saying? He's just trying not to unleash everything right now in this regular season to get people game uh, footage on us and shit. I think Pop, man, might be fucking around with our, our emotions and shit. Because he keep doing certain shit, man. I'd be like, what the fuck, Pop? What are you doing, man? But... Well, one thing we gotta understand, man, pop a mastermind. And sometimes, man, shit may look bad to us as fans, but when you're dealing with a mastermind, I don't, uh, I, I, I ain't gonna doubt him. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna ever doubt him, but I'm gonna question, like, what the fuck are you doing? You know what I'm saying? But. He a mastermind, man, so he might be fucking around and trying to hold off on certain players into the playoffs and unleash them motherfuckers in the playoffs and surprise everybody and motherfuckers won't know how to stop them. Because if you got game play on, on, on certain players in the uh, regular season, you will kind of have a bead on how to stop them and all that type of shit. So I think that might be a reason why he ain't playing Chimizzi Metu or Kelvin Johnson or Lucas Somnich. I think he going to unleash them boys in the playoffs, man. For real. Now, if he did, ooh, lordy, 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 lordy. But, like I said, man, some of those trades, uh, I'll be for. You know what I'm saying? I'll be dead for them, man. So, it's your boy L.A., man. I'm out of this bitch. Yes, here. Peace out, motherfuckers.